to talk about how to add a notification bar in Show It. So there's a couple different use cases for using um, this element in your website. So the first one I'm actually showing right here on the screen. So I kind of have this skinny banner at the top um, where I put some promotions for my shop, kind of stuff that's going on that's timely um, or that I want people to know. Um, when they first arrive on my home page. So this is one application and the way that I have this set up is that if someone clicks to um, a click six text then they will be taken to um, my shop page and they can also click the little X here to have that section um, be hidden. And then a second application for this type um, of element on your website would be using it for like a privacy policy cookie banner. So it's a very similar design. It's still like the same little skinny banner. Um, I've just changed the text to um, be applicable for what I want to use it for. And then the, kind of the same thing. There's a, a little X icon here that they can delete or hide that. And then it also clicks to um, the privacy policy if they click that. So um, the special feature about this banner in particular that's different from the one on my home page is that this one will actually follow you. So I'm going to show you how to make um, both of these uh, options and show it. So first we're going to um, go over to show it really quick. So I'm going to use the Becca template as an example, um, but you can use do this um, with any template that you have. Uh, I'm just going to start with the desktop view just because it's easier. I have more um, viewable space on my screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new canvas um, on my page um, and then it's going to go to the bottom um, automatically. Um, if I want my banner on the bottom then I can just leave it there or if I want it on the top then you can just move it up in the layers panel. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and size. Um, I think that looks like a good size to me and then I'm also going to rename it. So I'm just going to call it promo banner. You can call it whatever makes sense for you. And then the size looks good to me so I'm just going to set some of the formatting properties. So I'm going to change the background color um, I think that looks good and then I'm going to add my text here. So we'll just say this is an example promo banner. So I have some nice text there. Change my text box styles. Um, I think I'll just do like a centered um, example, maybe slightly larger text and then I will center that text on my canvas. I'll change the line height here so it's a little bit more centered and then that looks good to me. And then I will add um, the X icon. So you're going to click icon and then we get the default smiley face here. I'm just going to adjust the size and then I'm gonna you can put this wherever you want, but I'm just going to put mine over here in the corner, kind of line it up with that other icon there. Um, keep things consistent. I'll pick the icon that I like over here on the side panel. And then I will change the color. Maybe that one. Okay, I'm liking how that's looking. So then you need to set a click action for your um, elements here. So for the X icon, you want actually to select hide canvas and then you can select this canvas. And then for the banner, then you can select um, a click action link to whichever page you want that to link to. So um, let's say I just want to link it to my shop, take people right there. So that's looking good. Um, for the desktop version. So we will switch over to the mobile version here really quick just so that we have a similar look and feel. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit. Maybe it stays on two lines to keep things consistent. I'm going to pull that in. I'm going to zoom in here so we have a little better viewable area. 
Okay. And then I will change the size here of my banner. And I will change the color, my background color. There we go. It's starting to look like the other one. Oops. There we go. I'm going to, again, adjust that line height so it's a little bit uh, tighter. That's looking good to me. I might make this banner just a little skinnier. We get this. There we go, and then I'm going to go ahead and align all of these things to the center of my canvas. Perfect. And then I'm going to check my click actions that they have copied over. Yep, looks good there. And then if I want to actually put this banner at the top of my page, um, both mobile and desktop, I just need to slide it up here and then there it's at the top um, on both on both sections there we go perfect so um, one thing I'm seeing is that I need to still adjust the sizing a little bit there okay that looks good and then um, one last note so for the banner that is on um, this page, there we go, um, it doesn't follow you. So this one is kind of static and once they click off or scroll down it, it disappears. Um, but the one here, it actually will follow you on the page. So depending on what effect you want, um, you'll just create a different setting and show it. So um, if you just want it to stay there and not follow you, then you actually won't have to take any further um, settings um, but if you want it to follow you then what you'll do is just click on that banner and then you're going to want to adjust the sticky settings under the canvas tab so you will just hit top on scroll and if you're doing a top on scroll sticky banner then you just need to make sure that the stacking order right here is set higher than any of the other canvases on the page I know that at the bottom of this template, the footer actually has a stacking order of three. So I need to just make sure that this stacking order is set to four if I want it to follow um, people on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and publish those changes and then we can check it out on the front end and make sure that um, it actually works the way that we want to. Okay, so here we have our banner, it looks great. And now you'll see if I start scrolling down that it's going to follow me. Um, and then if I want to um, click, you'll see I have the ability to click that. And then also I can hit the X to make that disappear. And then the rest of the page will uh, go upwards. Okay, so it looks like everything uh, worked the way that we wanted it to. And um, the only other change that you would want to make if you are wanting to do the bottom sticky banner is just to move this to the bottom and then you would set this to bottom on scroll and then you would publish that we'll wait for it to save there there we go publish Okay, and then I'll just refresh this page. Okay, so now you see our banner is at the bottom, and since we made it sticky, you see it um, here, and we now we can scroll and it follows us on the bottom. It works the same way, it's just in a different position. So then we can just hide that when we don't want to see it anymore. All right, hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you. Let me know if you have any questions or if you're looking for more tips and tricks and show it. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.